Well, hello, it's Monday. That means that it is a bit of a Wolves video with Mr. Joe Edwards. Joe, how's it going, baby? Uh, oh, we've just had a chat off air. Just getting a be bit honest, bored. be honest, be honest. Yeah, getting very bored now, struggling. Um, trying to fill that football shaped hole in my life and have bought a uh, goal for the back garden. Oh, yeah, Samba goals in, yeah. Um, very good. So, spent a lot of yesterday just kicking the ball. Uh, in frustration. In f trying to find the net, uh, missing quite a lot, but you know, practice will make perfect, it gives me something to do, so uh, hopefully by the uh, end of this I'll be uh, as precise as Raoul. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, I'm still in my pyjamas, so I don't, you know, at least at least you're getting out. I'm still wearing a, a lime fluorescent green Disney 5k uh, t-shirt, so you know, at least you're, at least you're, uh, you're way ahead of me, mate. Lovely. Uh, right, uh, so for the next few weeks, because we're going to be here for the next three at least, and probably four, um, we're going to be doing a little bit of a review of the season um, on positional players, so a bit like we do at the end of each season, so we'll start off with the goalkeepers, defenders will be next week, then the following week will be... Midfielders. Then... Strikers. Yeah, and we'll finish off with management, but hopefully we'll be out in the uh, in the open air by then. We won't need to do that. But um, but yeah, we're going to start off with the goalkeepers today. So Joe, obviously we're talking about two goalkeepers, one man in particular. Uh, would you like to just describe uh, your your comments and your summary on Mr. Rui Patricio this season? Uh, very good uh, would be short and improved upon last season, I would say as well. Um, I think I think he's barely put a foot wrong, to be honest, and proved himself to be one of the most consistent um, shot stoppers in the Premier League. I mean, he, he, he came in with a obviously a very big reputation, Euro 2016 winner, uh, Ballon d'Or nominee, statue of him back in Portugal, and big things, you know, were rightly expected of him. And in that first season, obviously he was a he was a good goalkeeper, but I, mm -hmm. I think there were a few occasions where you know his distribution was was found wanting um, mm. maybe looking a bit lean uh, not quite you know rough and ready for the Premier League you know if you will and um, I think he's pushed up on both of those aspects this season I think we've saw a far more well-rounded goalkeeper and to be honest you know that I think there is a few in the division that you would say that you'd have ahead of him. I think Alisson and Edison, are, you know, are the, are the, are the two... Standouts. Uh, it's two standouts. You know, you could argue you'd sort of have De Gea and Lloris and things like that. But, you know, in terms of a you know a team of Wolves' stature, chasing uh, Champions League, being in the Europa League, I don't think you're going to find uh, anyone better, really, than, uh, than Rui. Yeah, and uh, like you say, he has improved, and you think he's probably still got a little bit to uh, a little bit more to find as well. But he didn't quite make my top five players of the season. I think he was very close to yours, but at the same time, he has made some vital saves. He has, and, that, and that's that's the thing. He, he's always been a very very good shot stopper. The you know the saves out the ordinary is where he kind of fries. But added to that, it's just those little things that he's added to his game. I think we saw him dropped, didn't we, for the Cardiff game last season when you know the more physical John Ruddy was preferred and you know it was there was the jury was out as to whether Patricio could stand up to mm. those physical tests. There's been no such questions this season. I think no matter the opponent, whether it's been, you know, Europa League, whether it's been, you know, Punic Yerevan or uh, Besiktas or if it's been you know, Slava and Bratislava, every kind of different team that uh, Ruby's kind of come up against, he stood up to the test and, you know, proved himself to be that keeper that we all, you know, suspected he would be. Yeah, and look, goes without saying, it was last season as well, amazing um Stop at penalties as well, isn't he? I mean, fantastic at penalties. You don't want to be, you don't want to be facing Rui Patricio there. He's, he's had one or two ricks, but I mean, all goalkeepers do. What was the game more, more recently where he tried to kick the ball? I think when it was from a throw-in or a back pass oh, or something yeah. it was nearly it was oh, a stinker. Yeah. Can't remember exactly what game it was now, but is it not just was, time? It might have been. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, it might have been. But anyway, it did, didn't end up in the back of the net. And like you say, all goalkeepers have these. I mean, you look at De Gea and some of his mistakes in the last couple of seasons. So, you, you know, you compare and contrast with someone like that. I think I'd rather have Rui, to be honest. Um, so, 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 obviously, Wolves number one, um, without a shadow of doubt, and moving forward will be as well. On the other hand, John Ruddy, who's, who's been his deputy, always knew he was going to be his deputy this season. Uh, very much a cup goalkeeper and a fantastic team and club guy. Um, but maybe 
would be slightly disappointed he hasn't had more opportunities with the amount of games Wolves have had to play this season. Yeah, I think he, on reflection, I think obviously this is a period where you can reflect on, on what has happened so far this season. I, I think John can feel a little bit hard done to. I think there's there's been a few occasions where you would have expected him um, to play. Um, you know, some of those early qualifying games, really for the Europa League, he, you know, you thought he may well have played in them. You know, Crusaders and, and things like that. He didn't. Um, and then you've you've, you've got that Espanyol away leg um, really kind of sticks out to me. Four 0 up from the first leg. Um, mm-hmm. you, you think he yeah nailed uh, on nailed on and he didn't play and um, it, it's, it's a difficult one with John because it, I, I think. Now, Matt Murray summed it up quite nicely in the paper last week in that he's probably the best number two that you'll find, but in turn, he's going to feel frustrated because, you know, Mm -hmm. he could be, you know, a very good number one for somebody, you know, a top-end championship club, you know, a club that's looking to make that next step and get into the playoffs, get into the Premier League. I don't think you're going to find a better kind of experienced safe pair of hands than John. So his contract runs out at the end of the season. Um, we've got Do you think it'll be up to him whether he wants to extend um, or, or I mean obviously it's the club but do you think the club will offer him a deal and it will be up to him to decide whether he wants to stay or go and, and, and make you know more first team appearances somewhere else I think it will be down to John mainly yeah um, you know whether the club makes him a formal offer or and things like that. I think if John indicated that he wanted to stay, I don't think there'd be any any, any problems there because, as, as you say, he's very valued behind the scenes in the dressing room and on the pitch whenever he's played. You know, he, he's been he's been dependable. I mean, I, I think he'll reflect on that Carabao Cup game against Villa earlier this season and and say that it was a a poor game by his standards. Well, he actually came out and did say that um, before he played against Besiktas in the last. A Europa group game and had a very good game and kind of you know righted that wrong if you will um, but it's coming to the end of the season we'll see what happens with the rest of the season but um, he could see his contract temporarily extended just to see the campaign through that's a, a whole other issue but um, it, it could be one where I think in the summer he may well seek a new challenge and whether he stays or he doesn't I think we've discussed and uh, Steve Ball when we've spoken to him um, on the podcast for a couple of times, has suggested that, that Wolves will look for a keeper regardless. And uh, we've discussed a, a couple of times about maybe getting someone in uh, a top youngster, and not necessarily from here, but but maybe on the uh, maybe a top European youngster, maybe even a young Portuguese keeper, uh, maybe. But uh, someone who who might, regardless whether John is there or not, come in uh, with the ambition uh, and maybe straight in with a number two role. With, with a third keeper, um, someone like John Ruddy, or a bit more experience to be in and around the, the squad? Yeah, I mean, personally, I struggle to see John you know, being a number, a number three. Uh, I think he'd either stay around in the current premise where he'll play the cup games, if not a few more, because uh, as we say, I think he's been a bit hard done to this season. Um, I struggle to see him be sticking around as a number three. Uh, okay. I, th- I, think, I think there will be... I think there will be suitors for him. I think there'll be plenty of them, to be honest. And um, I think he will get attractive offers. He's just got to decide whether he's happy being a number two or if he wants to go and be a number one somewhere. I think number three doesn't really come into the equation. As where Wolves could look to get a younger goalkeeper. Of course, Will Norris is kind of still on the books. There's Andreas Sondergaard for the 23s, but I think he's still got some bulking up to do. So, um, yeah, I think it's something Wolves will, may have to look at in the summer. I think if... If you're in John Ruddy's shoes, you know, you've had a good three years at Wolves, you've helped them to promotion, got the Golden Glove in doing so, played a part in the Europa League, you know, a, a, a very memorable FA Cup run as well last season. I think, you know, in the summer, it could well be time that he decides he wants a new challenge and uh, go and play every week somewhere else. Lovely, Joe. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. That's our goalkeeping review so far, of course. Nine games to go. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, Next Monday, we'll be back with the defenders. Joe, have a good one. Keep occupied. Keep hitting that goal.